AfterBuzz TV Network, now the largest new media platform on the web, and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Ready, Nancy. The After Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Bad Girls Club After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256. 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Bad Girls Club After Show. Sassy Siobhan here. Yo, what up, After Buzz? It's Bingus for doing it. We are here doing another After Buzz TV After Show. For the Bad Girls Club, Season yeah, 10, Episode 12, Rocky Like a Hurricane. Yeah, 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 hurricane. I am DJ Jesse Janity in studio with Sir Cameron Marston. Good evening. Good evening. What? Yeah. <laughs> rocking the boat. Or I guess not rocking the boat. Commanding the ship. What, what did you give Steven today? What was his name? Sass. Sassafras in the booth. Sassafras in the Sass booth, y'all. Booth. There we go. Bad Girls Club tonight, I mean, it took me a little bit to even kind of build the excitement up for tonight because I hate when they give us a break from a big fight. And then I was there in the moment, and all I needed to see was that bottle of Vaseline and be like, oh, okay, here's where I am. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, obviously, we're still with the same drama where Valentina overheard Rocky... Talking she's ratchet. to her friends, saying she's, she's ratchet, gotta, gotta. which is, I mean, hey, you know, I mean, I, I, don't, I didn't see her laughing at her. Well, after the shower scene, I have to kind of agree. <laughs> With? Oh. Mm. Nobody should be oofing, for lack of a better word, on the floor of a shower that's being shared by seven girls. That's just dirty. Yeah, I mean, disease is like... We just don't need to go there, guys. But uh, before we get to that place, um, so Nancy, Valentina, they're getting all greased up for the fight. They meet Rocky at the door. I just want to know. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> but I want to know why are you laughing at me? Like, girl. Shannon, like, what happened? Right? <laughs> what happened? What's going on? Why are you yelling? Why are you shining? Total opposite. <laughs> uh, and my thing is, is like, Nancy, I understand when uh, the anger gets so much that you can't control. But you shouldn't be asking questions when you're that angry. <laughs> In those types of situations, we, we pull ourselves away, think about it. And then bring the questions. I mean, why are you why are you laughing? I mean, he wasn't even giving her a chance to even explain it. So why are you asking her the question? What you should have done did when she came through the damn door is just go be her ass. Because that's all you really wanted to do. But at the end of the day, you got punked out because Valentina jumped in, grabs Rocky by the hair, punch well, does like a slip punch because she like punched her, but it hit like the side of her cheek. Then Alicia jumps in, and then you got these three bitches jumping everyone. And what was the excuse? The excuse was that they were running their mouths at some bar mm -hmm. to uh, strangers. Well, yeah, to the bartender, and he told them something. It's like, so what? Who cares? You're not family. It's not like you got to keep it in the family. Yeah, I didn't understand that. Like, who gives a shit? Not only that, but she was Ish. like, boy, please. Like, <laughs> we already have explicit on iTunes. What? Um, but my thing is, is why are you getting so upset about that? Nobody can know what goes on inside the house. Bitch, you're on national TV. There are over 40, 50, 80 cameras watching every move. Mm -hmm. Why are you so upset, Alicia? Wet t-shirt contest. Right. Who cares? Calm down. Um, Valentina threw the first punch. I was really surprised that Valentina's still here. 
Nancy was upset. She said, I can fight my own battles. Mm. Don't jump in. I don't need nobody jumping in. Now we get Shannon realizing that Valentina is basically hyping Nancy up. Um, and Nancy and Valentina go to a hotel for a night. Well, do you agree that that's what happened? Yeah. I don't. Why not? And I don't like Valentina because um, I don't know what they call her. Jumpatina. Mm -hmm. Valentina Stabaho. Um, I don't like her, but I don't think that she was trying to hype Nancy up per se. I think Valentina is just an angry person. And I think the gossiping to strangers outside of the house really did set her off. And Rocky, apparently, I kind of got the same feeling. Rocky was trying to say that she didn't say it or somebody else was doing it. So she was lying. And with Valentina's history, it made perfect sense that she would jump her. Well, no. Yeah, I mean, I get that to a certain point. But it also comes down to, like, I feel like Valentina was mad about something. Mm -hmm. Walked by heard Nancy's name in Rocky's mouth, and Valentina took that, ran with it, and was like, oh, she called you Ratchet. I mean, I call you Ratchet, Cam. Would you be like, take that out of context if Sammy Sosa in the booth was like, Cam, after the show, Jesse went and called you Ratchet. No, you'd be like, okay. Oh. But it came down mm. to the fact that she was laughing at you. She was making fun of you. I mean, come, she took it and blew it out of proportion. Well, when you're in the Bad Girls Club, clearly they try and delete, they try and create lines. They draw lines. And which side are you <laughs> delusional? Which side of the fence are you on? And so that's a way to build your team, right? You back pocket issues and share them when it's necessary. Mm. So I get, I get that. Yeah. So then I take it back. She was trying to hype her up, but at the time that the confrontation was going down, when they were all greased up, I think that. Rocky lying again, which I believe that she did lie, set Valentina off because it doesn't take much. Her f fuse is short, if not non-existent. Yep. And while they were at the hotel, <laughs> poor Alicia, your team was gone and you got <laughs> whooped that I, trick. I have to say it was deserved. It was deserved because it's just like, I understand you might have been mad about the situation, but... Uh, either confront her and then fight her but to just jump in is just like that ain't that ain't cute boo it ain't cute uh, but uh, paula says she's over all the fighting she's just tired child she's tired she just can't do it no more um and stephanie's over it too she wants to go out and mingle she needs a pussy in her face she said she sure did and she, she lied about it she got it careful what you ask for now, here's why I say Valentina's bipolar. Because when Valentina came back, she was like, Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? Like, <laughs> girl, I can't. I really can't. She reminds me of a friend I used to have who I love dearly. But the bitch was bipolar. And there ain't nothing wrong with being bipolar. But just make sure you know. And to medicate. What you're working with. And don't go on a show and don't tell them. Because I feel like she didn't. Oh, let them know. Um, so yeah, she came back super happy. Alicia's is crying like, oh my god, I can't believe her gone. That's my bitch for eight hours. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, my uh, baby mama. All the girls they decide to go out for sushi. Everyone really misses Nancy, and all Alicia can start stop uh, is think about is Rocky. Yeah, just a face. They should put some boxing gloves on. Why don't they go back to that boxing ring thing they used to do? Like, put them in boxing ring. Give them the glove. Come on, That's go. what bad girls really need. It's yeah. like Big Brother where they have the big backyard. <laughs> just they go into a, ding, ding. a safe, enclosed yeah. region of the house and just go Hype them up. You were talking shit. You were talking shit. It. The big, the big gloves and just go at it. Yeah. I feel like that's what we should. Yeah. Maybe that's what All Stars is going to be. I'm telling for. you. Do a treatment. Let's do it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Nancy comes home, and all she wants is what? She wants everything to be... I don't know. Copacetic. Oh, <laughs> this bitch. Copacetic. It's copacetic. <laughs> not copacetic. <laughs> copacetic. And that was the only one. She. It, it's not unsensitive. It's insensitive. <laughs> these producers love to make these girls look dumb. I'm sorry. These poor girls. Or not poor girl. Whatever. Just... <coughs> Spell check. <laughs> well, I mean, you you say that you wasn't really digging her, but Stephanie was digging her. She was. I don't dislike Nancy. I think she's entertaining because I like her accent and mm -hmm. I think she has a cute little body. But I think, 
I feel like Stephanie, they were like the almost the perfect match until Nancy got a little crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, when Rocky and Shannon came back home, not only, uh, I feel like Shannon and Valentina kind of play the same field. They kind of put the bug in the ear. So for Shannon to call it out, girl, you recognize it because you do it. Game, recognize game. Mm-hmm. And then she goes on to say, I think Valentina's jealous because she's not the tallest, prettiest girl in the house. Do you, would you go with that? Um, could that be a factor? Most mm. definitely. Is that the main reason? No. No. Valentina's bipolar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we want to know what you guys think, so make sure you guys give us a call at 424-256-1729. Pick up your phone and dial... 424-256-1729. If you can't do that, then please go on to iTunes, download our podcast, leave us a comment with your Twitter handle. We'll give you a shout out on the show and rate us five stars. Tell Miss Chevy how much you miss her. Miss mm-hmm. <laughs> Chevron, how much you missed her. Um, all right, so Rocky goes and talks to Paula. I like this move of hers. She goes explains uh, why Valentina and Alicia are upset with her. And she basically says, I want to open the door and I want to be able to talk to Nancy. I thought that was a good look. Smart girl, smart one for her to go to. Best laid plans. I wish she had confessed to what she had said on the phone, but maybe she's a smart girl. I don't know. My thing is I would have just gotten out there because it looked like Nancy wanted to bury the hatchet. I would have just told her, like, yeah, I did say it. Hmm. This is me. Let me take a call. Show a thing. <laughs> show enough, Sosa. Call you on the line for After Buzz TV's Bad Girl Club After Show. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, the name's Neela. What up, Neela? Neela or Neela? Neela. Neela, where are you from? D.C. Washington, right. D.C. Washington, D.C. in the house. All right, so wh- where are you at with these girls? Who who, who you liking? I- I don't, I'm like, I'm just like hating a lot, and I hate to hate, but I'm hating a lot. Um, There's a lot of hate. Jump a Tina or Invalid Tina, or <laughs> I don't, I don't know what her problem is, but she is bipolar. She failed her, she failed her psych eval or something. I don't know what's going on there. Invalid Tina. Like. I, I mean, <laughs> and apparently she's on All Star Battle. I don't know how she passed the psych test. She didn't get that red flag. Uh, I just. Can't. They have her on another show. Mm-hmm. Alicia gave they her. Brought, a nobody paper. is here for her. They brought her back. Mm-hmm. I mean, but you you gotta give her this. If she wasn't in the house, who would really be stirring up the pot? I think um, Mufasa. <laughs> um, what's her name? Alicia. With that big red man of hers. That is. Or Clifford, Clifford. as somebody called her. Clifford. I think she'd do a good. Red. Like job stirring the pot, her against um, like Sean Manon Shannon, whatever her name is. Sherman. I think they would have a like oh, a good head to head. Maybe I feel like she's afraid of Sherman, I, which I don't know why she ain't afraid of Rocky. I think everybody's afraid of Shannon because Shannon has bulk. Like she's like She Hulk all the way. She's like comic book drawn. I don't. I don't understand her physique but she's like a punk like she and and rocky aren't supposed to be on this jumping thing or whatever but they totally jump like clifford like clifford got jumped wait and like shannon just kind of came in with that like one 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 kick and i was just like that's such a bitch move right it's like if you're gonna jump in if you're gonna i mean go all out like that little kick and then like run away like no but that's the other thing with shannon is i feel like she hasn't proven anything to us. You know, we see her lifting the weights, swimming in the pool. Do you think it's, I mean, I ask this question a lot. Do you think it's because she is a punk or she's really strong and feels like, oh, I could really hurt one of these girls? Oh, I'm going to ride it to the end. It can go, like, either way. I feel like, I don't know, maybe she's just doing it for appearances, but then... You know, maybe she has, like, some martial arts background where she's just trying to find her chi or whatever, <laughs> and she can't, like, use her, like, her hands are registered as deadly weapons, and she's just trying to draw back and, like, work off the adrenaline. I don't know. How do you feel about Nancy? I think Nancy, she had a little fatal attraction moment. She's just, like, 
she's just loud and like off the like she's just off the chain like she can be so easily manipulated one way or another and she just I don't know she's like a spaz she's a spaz that needs to be contained she is mm -hmm. and uh I mean maybe you know she got a little of the punan so maybe mm -hmm. she'll calm down for a little bit well what yeah, I mean. hopefully. I think that's what Invalid Tina needs. I think she needs, like, she she was sweating Stephanie herself. Right. Like, I don't know what it is about the little girly boy, Stephanie, but, like, the girls are after her. Well, Steph I think Stephanie's really cute, but, I, I mean, my thing is, is with Valentina, I feel like maybe she if she isn't bipolar, I feel like it's these inner demons she's fighting. Of her Fallon. sexuality, <laughs> yeah, I feel like we have another Fallon on our hands, and I mean, even to this day, I guess Fallon still fights it, and it's like, it's very obvious that she is a lesbian. Um, and I feel like, I mean, look at Valentina. Whenever she gets drunk, you know, truth serum, she messes with Alicia. Also, when she gets drunk, and now she wants to watch Nancy and Stephanie. I don't. Know. Do you think she could be a full bred <laughs> flocker? <laughs> I guess we'll call it Supple Slugger, <laughs> Carpet Muncher. What do you think? What do you oh think, God, Neil? Ew. <laughs> Carpet Muncher. I haven't heard that one in a while. I know. So I to be um, I think. <laughs> pull, I think she just, She needs to get some wherever she can get some, and she's not getting any attention from any dudes because she's all gangly and she like she could be a supermodel if it wasn't for her face. So I just think she's just looking for something somewhere. She just needs to get smashed. Girl, what is your Twitter Twitter handle? Because yeah. you you can rip. <laughs> I love it. You belong. You are a fag hat. You belong with my crew. <laughs> you can rip all day. <laughs> and it's so. I'm like, at Nila Chai. What, say it again. Spell it for me. At N E E L A C H A I. Nila Chai. Neela Chai. All right. Thanks, Neela, for calling in. Make sure you tweet at us so we can uh, find you on Twitter. <laughs> All right. So let's let's... You guys are awesome. It's so funny. I love your show. Oh, thank you, Bo. Hey, girl. Um, all right. Thank you. So let, let's just talk about this whole lesbian moment that mm -hmm. Nancy had. Um, when Nancy came in, I felt like she had a little dyke-like quality to her. A little bit. She said, nope, strictly dickly. No. And then, oh, all of a sudden, carpet cleaners of America. No, she did in the beginning. She said she'll mess with girls. She said it. Mm. And Steph was like, what? <laughs> you want another call? Okay. <laughs> Bring them on in. Okay. Call her on the line with AfterBuzz TV's Bad Girl Club After Show. What's your name? Where are you from? Hello. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. What's your name and where are you from? Um, Aaron from Brooklyn. Aaron Whoa. from B. Okay. All right. So, wh what did you think of the whole episode? Who who are you hating? Who? Uh, where are you at with these girls? What's he mean? On? Um, I don't like none of the girls. All right. What did you think of tonight's episode? If you don't like any of the girls, who do you like? It was boring. Like Rocky was lame. Like I don't really think she did that much damage to Alicia and. Shannon all talk like she basically riding Rocky's coattails. But wouldn't you say? I mean, to me, I feel like they got in better hits on Alicia than they did for Rocky. I mean, Rocky does have that one bruise on her arm, but I don't know. I'm okay with all of it. Yeah. Um, I think all the girls in the house is whack. I like Rocky. Shannon, not so much. She she just wags. She's too she's too much talk. I just uh, uh, Stephanie's a non factor. Paula's all right. Alicia, she's cute, but what's the point? Dantine is the only one, and I have to say, if anybody don't like her, Ella is not gonna like Dantine because she's too crazy. This 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 and that, right? Do you think Valentina but, is by? Wait, do you think Valentina is bipolar, or do you think she just has like lesbian in? hidden issues inside of her I think, it's, I think it's the house i think you know living in a house is like a prison i think too much around a person that you don't like you're gonna get these these weird out there antics and she's going to go wild or about because she don't like her right yeah fair enough all right so well okay since you think this season's so whack who what's your favorite bad girl season my favorite bad girl season has to be season seven. Oh, 
seven. Season seven. Who is your favorite uh, cast member? My favorite cast member, definitely Nastasia. And I'm so happy that she's on All Stars. There you she's go. On, there's a rumor with her and Natalie fighting. There's a rumor with Natalie fighting a couple of them. <laughs> what's, what's the rumor that you heard about yeah. her and Stassi? Yeah, she's fighting Nastasia and Mark and Megan, so she fights two of them. And I think Nastasi and Megan has beef. I don't know why, because they're my two favorites. <laughs> well, you know, you, you, I mean, it's it's just how it goes Strong with these characters. girls. But they could be hating yeah. each other now and then loving each other later. Uh, what are you th- expecting from the uh, reunion this season? Um, I'm I'm looking forward to um Ventina going home in the hospital. I mean, going you know <laughs> to the hospital because Shannon punched her nose in. At that this weekend, <laughs> I was dying when I heard that. I can't wait. Me too, and I love you so much. Uh, thank you for calling in. What's your Twitter handle? My Twitter handle, um, Mr. Res- Mr. Underscore Respectfully. There we go. Make sure you tweet at us. I, I love the show. I love the show. Um, the show. Um, keep it up. Thank you. Make sure you tweet at us so we can uh, find you on Twitter. And thank you for calling in. Make sure you call and rip next week, too. <laughs> All right, so this whole lesbian situation, I mean, they, they're uh, ha- doing whatever they're doing in We have another call. The oh. thing. All right, <laughs> okay. caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Caller, you're on the line with After Buzz TV, Bad Girls Club. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just rip everyone. <laughs> caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Devin Mark. Devin, all right, so you have two callers who just called in and ripped. If you what can, up, dude, your turn. We need you to rip harder, <laughs> so what did you think of tonight's episode? <laughs> well, um... Even though I kind of like Alicia, I kind of did. I feel bad for her, but at the same time, she shouldn't have jumped in. And I'm, like, a really against the whole jumping in and stuff, so it's like, you shouldn't be doing that. Um, Valentina is, like, straight up bipolar. It's just out of control. Like, whenever she gets to her high pitch, like, no one can understand what she's saying. <laughs> she doesn't sound like it. Do it but... <laughs> I can't. All right. What, and then and as far as Nancy bugging out, I mean, are you t- more Team Rocky, or do you understand where... Alicia and Valentina were coming from. Um, I like at first I didn't like Rocky, but then I was like, she's growing on me, so it's like I kind of like Rocky. Um, sometimes I feel like Alicia. I don't know something. It's just always something about Alicia that just bothers me. Sometimes it's like I want to like you, but it's like you just do you just you do stuff that just is just out of out of box. I'm the same exact way when it comes to Alicia. She just. It, 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 it she does have these qualities that you makes you want to like her, but then you see how she dresses and you're like, oh girl, and then you see how she acts and it's like, oh. Girl. I'm just wondering how she got on the show. Right. <laughs> well, I think they, I mean I think they look for a good balance, and I mean obviously it worked out good because she does kind of balance off Valentina, but yeah. I think Valentina is so crazy that some of her craziness has rubbed off on Alicia. Yes, I was thinking the exact same thing. Now. Uh, why do you think they haven't kicked Valentina off yet? I mean, she st- literally has physically started every single fight. Everything. I think I think the producers kind of want to keep that one person that's just wilding out for no reason. They want <laughs> Ratings. To, they want to keep, huh? Ratings, totally. <laughs> <laughs> they want, yeah, they, they just want to keep, because I don't, because, like, Paula had her sign that one time, and Stephanie, Stephanie, even though I love Stephanie, she doesn't do anything, like, you know, like that. Um, Rocky, if, the only reason why Rocky is like, like that is because Valentina is because people always start with her. So it's like, I don't think Rocky really has any other reason to start with anybody for no reason. So I think they're going to just keep that one person that just starts drama for no reason. That just, is just out of control. Right. Where, where, where did you stand as far as, uh, with Valentina always trying to get in Alicia's pants and then she's seen Nancy and, uh, Stephanie doing it? And she just wants to watch, and then she's telling her what to do. She was like, "Yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be talking to her anymore. Like, you should just tell her calmly. Like, girl, but mind you, you going around talking about I'm mad. Stephanie wants to mess with her, and not with me first. Exactly. She's just yeah, like she's just another Fallon. She's just like she can't even like pretend to be a be a closet lesbian. I just feel like she just is just accepted. Right, like, girl, you so thirsty, your hump from your camel toe is coming. Um, exactly. <laughs> what's your Twitter handle? 
Um, at Music Lover. At Music Lover. All right, thank you so much for calling in. Make sure you tweet at us and call in next week. Uh, if you guys want to call in live, I mean, please do, because apparently it's just Sickening. Ripping, <laughs> ripping tonight. You can call us at 424-256-1729. Um, all right, so uh, another part that I really enjoyed was Shannon and Rocky going out for her birthday, for Shannon's birthday. Um, Shannon was a little upset that everyone didn't come with her for her birthday, I guess. But she kept saying that she didn't want them to. Oh, she needed another call. Rocky. Hey, okay. <laughs> call her on the line with Bad Girls Club after Buzz. What's your name? Where are you from? It's Mikey Watts. What up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> the girls are all calling in tonight. <laughs> all right, Mikey, what, what, what's going on, bud? Did you did you hear uh, all of our ca our uh, callers ripping on everybody? Uh. <laughs> I did hear them. I did hear them. What's going on, though? Camera, you looking good today. What's going on with you, bro? Well, I'm just surprised because apparently Stephanie knows how to eat clam. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> you said she was a bad lady. lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard all the interesting colors today. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, I, all I got to say is it's still screw Valentina. It sure is. It, I, I believe that is. Although the one BK call, they kind of justified Valentina of saying, you know, I mean, maybe she's just crazy. And, contained you know, environment. Putting, putting yeah. crazy in a contained environment ain't got really it. good. Um, I, that one car that might be on the same page as Valentina. That may be why they, he can justify. I do kind of agree with that. I love my BK caller, but I I kind of got the tone that if we put the BK caller in a contained <laughs> room with someone that they didn't really care for, it would be a big problem. For Only that one person, person coming on. Right, <laughs> and BK all the way. <laughs> um, all right, but uh, all right. So then with the whole, you know, I kind of realized why Stephanie is with Andre. Because, I mean, if she can eat her box out, she can eat his box out, too. And so he just gets the best of both worlds. What I said. That's a happy bisexual relationship. He's always face down. <laughs> I hope she, she's not eating his box. Oh, what yeah. What are we talking about? Apparently, that's what all the kids are doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's called box lunches. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. All right. So, Mikey, before you go, what are you uh, expecting from next week with the girls going to Greece? Uh, I expect some ratchetness. It, do you, uh, ratchetness from who? I mean, obviously it's going to be Valentina. I don't know why I'm even asking. Uh, I hope Rocky gets ratchet, of course. I'm always Team Rocky. Always will be. There we go. I need I need Rocky to step it up, too. All right, Mikey, thanks for calling in. Shout out. Give your Twitter handle out. Come back. Yeah. Y'all already know. I'll be in next week. Live. Peace. Bye. Um, all right, so the girls go to the club. Stephanie's talking to another chick. Nancy starts getting... Cuckoo. <laughs> um, Hot boiling over with a rabbit. Yeah, and it's just kind of like, where do did you? that come but from? Do me too. Yeah. You're going to do her or don't do her in front But of I love Nancy because she's got that... I don't know what kind of swag it is, but it's some sort of a... She has presence. Like, she's in your face, even if she's not in your face. But I it's feel like Stephanie's the type of girl, like, our, we can mess around, it's fun, but then Next. you in my bed every <laughs> night, though. And now not only you in my bed, but now you like, you want breakfast? You want this? What you doing, girl? Like, we doing our makeup together? Like, all right, girl, she's doing the most um jealousy comes in valentina with the whole birthday thing like why even go say happy birthday to shannon why just why did you think you were being one up the bigger one in that situation i think so really <laughs> she's that bipolar <laughs> happy birthday for real happy birthday for real <laughs> oh and and correct me if i'm wrong isn't it sake it just bothers me why what do they call it sake not sake, it's sake. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. If you're gonna drink it and wear a shirt, it, he actually had it on his shirt. So what? I call it sake. Clifford was wearing the shirt. It's sake. I like Big Red better, actually, oh. <laughs> than one of the colors. <laughs> Big Red. <laughs> um. So Nancy says, you know what? I'm over everything in the past. I want to talk to Rocky. <laughs> Shannon had a little issue there. She's like, wait, do you want me to come with me? Oh. Okay. <sighs> I'll wait up here. <laughs> um, but she goes and talks to she Rocky. She puts her in a bun. Now Nancy's confused. She feels she goes to Valentina, and she's like, well, what would y'all do? Who am I supposed to really believe here? 
And who lying, Paula? Right. Who? No. Who? She said. Who, well, who lying, Paula? But then she went upstairs and said to Valentina, "Who's lying, Valentina? So what really happened?" And then Valentina kind of got her got saved by a cockroach <laughs> on her head, and that's just how dirty you are, girl. Like you got cockroaches on your head. How do you? How did no one see that? I mean, do cockroaches jump? First of all, do they? Yeah. Well, they can fly. Oh no! See, you, that's what you mean. I'm a clean person. I've never seen a cockroach in my damn life. The larger species cockroaches can fly. Hell, and, and that, was big, <laughs> that was a big. And that was a big ass cockroach. Don't play. Mm-mm. I, that's, I could not be doing this TV show. <laughs> Put them in, in a the, microwave. They still come out. <laughs> Steven in the booth uh, left me a audition to go <laughs> audition for Bad Girls Club. Hey man, but, they're doing auditions right now. I figured you'd be interested. It was so to all our fans out there. Apparently, you can go be on Bad Girls Club. I have two things going for me that is not happening with bad girls. One, it's a dick. Two, I'm not living in no place with no cockroaches. That is mm, <gasps> dirty. Um, oh, Stephanie Rock straight hair. I liked it. It was cute. It was. But you weren't happy about her makeup. No, no. No. All right. Uh, Andre calls Stephanie. Stephanie is in a weird mood. It's like that cheating. Like, oh, you cheated on your boyfriend. You don't know how to feel. Bang, bang, bang. Wah, wah, wah. I want some pussy in my face. And it does kind of <laughs> remind me of a high school relationship yeah. where he's calling. He's, he's like, rapping there. Yo, what he's up, thirsty. girl? You know I'm true. I'm going to be the one just for you. Like, Has he tried rapping girl, or singing in LA? Bye. Has he? I don't know. Oh, I, he has like a video of oh, like Lord. He has a whole situation. Speaking of dirty, Rocky and um, <laughs> Shannon at that pool bar skanking the dog. Like for the $100 bill. She got us a good $100 bill. I mean. Yeah, but you had to kiss that man. And he didn't even turn into a print. He turned into something else that we don't need to be talking about on this show. He was show. smiling. Um, and then, obviously, everything ends off with Rocky being pissed, doesn't want to look at these bitches' faces anymore, and she wants revenge. And that's where we'll go towards next week, but let's go into predictions. And Sorry, it's on Skype. All right. It was staying on Skype. Hey, Skype. <laughs> hey, Skype. And now, you're after Buzz TV. Predictions. Predictions. I only have coins, sir. I love that that just echoed. Predictions. 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 All right, so next week. Just keep doing it the whole way through. Next week, we have uh, a trip to Greece. The girls are going to Greece. Uh, a fan tweeted at me that they weren't sure if they were even going to do that episode. Apparently, they are. Um, filler, which is kind of just yeah, I think it's gonna be a huge filler. There's no way they're fighting in Greece. I don't think anybody's Nobody trying to get stuck, right? Because I mean, they have so many guys there. Like the girls are gonna be strictly like penises, like happy. <laughs> they're gonna be good. But Alicia does say she wants to go out with the biggest bang in BGC history. I don't think you're gonna do it. I really don't. Do you? No, I feel like it's gonna. Make it- She's not promising at all. It's going to clap back. She's going to go out with the worst outfit in BGC history. Ooh, you heard it here first. Horizontal stripes. Oh, snap! Oh, snap. And that's all we got for you guys this week. Thank you guys so much for calling in. Make sure you guys tune in next week, same time, same place. We'll be here at the Afterbus TV studio watching the girls go to damn Greece. Holla, holla at us. Holla at us at Afterbus TV on Instagram, on Twitter, and Facebook. You can reach me at DJ Jesse J on Twitter. You can reach me at Tomakova777. Mm-hmm, that's right. Until next week, same time, same place. Peace. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later, bitches. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.